All right, time now for today's three stock lunch. We asked our trader to give us three names to buy or steer clear of. And here with the trades is Quint Tatro, founder and president of Jewel Financial. Up first, Quint, is Alphabet up nearly 500 percent in the past 10 years. This is one you have on your buy list. Tell us why. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tyler. It's great to be back. So the long-awaited pullback might be upon us finally, right? And there's a lot of stocks out there I think people need to be putting on their list. Google should be at the top. This is a stock that is trading 20 times forward. Those earnings are set to grow at 15%. So it's not a cheap stock. However, we don't think the AI story is truly baked in here. And the news that Apple's set to possibly bring Gemini onto the iPhone is huge. And it also alleviates the concern regarding the search function within iPhone, in our opinion. Technically speaking, however, the stock is breaking out to all-time highs, catching up with some of those other Magnificent Seven. And blue sky territory from here, Teflon balance sheet, almost no debt, $52 billion in cash. So this pullback that we're seeing in the market in this stock, this is a buy in our opinion. Okay, next up, Disney. This stock is up nearly 30% this year after bottoming out at 60% off its all-time high last year. So, Quint, you say this one you also like and would buy. Why? Hi, Contessa. Yeah, Disney's our turnaround play. Despite the, the run-up uh, off the lows, it's still got a long, long way to go towards highs. But this is a, a value play, uh, trading 20 times forward. And this year, those earnings are set to grow 25%. Uh, they've got $7 billion in cash, a, a decent balance sheet, uh, you know, about 0.4, I think, uh, debt to equity. Uh, we like the investment in Epic Games and Fortnite. Uh, we like that play. We also think the parks, uh, the rebound in the parks have staying power. And the win here, the proxy win recently against the activist pelts, that, in our opinion, shows a lot of focus on the, uh, on the side of the board and shareholders. And we think that they've really righted the ship. This is a, this is a name we, we like. Great American... Uh, company getting a pullback here in this in this recent tape is another buy in our in, in our wheelhouse. All right, let's move on to Salesforce, which you say stay away from. Stock uh, on the decline today after reports the company is in talks to acquire Informatica. This one is in the sell column. Why? Now, Tyler, I'm going to say I've been notoriously wrong on Salesforce. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is a tough one because I continue to say it's a sell and the stock continues to go higher. But I've just not been a fan here. I mean, this stock is trading 20 times forward earnings, 25 times forward earnings. Those earnings are set to grow at 19 percent this year and decline to 14 percent next year. It's a rich stock. Uh, I've still been a little stung since the Slack acquisition a couple of year, years ago, the the real rich premium they, they paid for this. And so the Informatica acquisition it just doesn't excite me. I think the acquisition strategy on the part of the company, I think, is yet to be determined if that's going to be successful here or not. So it's had a huge run off the lows. And if you've been in this name, I would take this opportunity. Despite today's weakness, I would still be a seller of this name.